why we write? It's an important question because there are a couple of answers to that. And the easy answer is I write because I want to get paid. And that's a fair response. I'm always happier when someone tells me they want to get paid. I'm always happier when I know that someone's going to be a professional because it makes my job easier. Because there's a direction into the industry. There's a path into the industry. There's a way to do things that are a professional way. And when you say you want to be a professional writer, you're making claim to that path. But there's another reason we write. And to me, it's a deeper reason. And I'm going to guess it's your reason. One of the reasons we write, one of the reasons we become writers is because we have a need of expression. And not just any expression. You know, we've been out there, we see all that superficial stuff, and sometimes we even laugh at it, we pay to see it, we think it's funny. It's almost always the comedies that kind of go in that superficial path because they think comedy is easy and that audience is easy. But real writers have a reason for going into this industry. And it really is about legacy. I want something that has my name, that it has my heart. I want it to outlive me. I want a legacy that I can leave behind. The other reason we write is just human connection because our own lives baffle us, because our own lives unravel. And in the tedium of our own lives, we're often worn down. And when you look at film, you look at TV, they have great story, they have a great quest, they have a great obstacle toward a wonderful goal that seems beyond this world. And if it's sci-fi, it often is beyond this world. But the story at the center of it is human. The stories that we tell are the stories about our own fragmentation that we can't figure out how to put, to, put back together. So we figure out a character that'll go on this great ride and thrill an audience, thrill a reader. And at the center of it, we're pulling together the threads, the pieces of that fragmentation. So at the end of it, we have a character called a hero that is transformed and, and has resolved that part of their humanity that's always been hurt always been wounded, always been missing. And because we can't always do it in our day-to-day -day lives, we pay to see it in a film. And sometimes we pay to see it two or three times. We pay for certain subscription services for TV because we connect to a character because of the way they are resolving their lives in a way that might not happen on ours, humanity. We are fragile. And in our fragile nature, we reach out through art, film, TV, to say that this is a moment of sacrifice that I can give. This is a moment of redemption that I can have. This is a moment of unmitigated salvation where the right person wins for the right reason. That's called a hero. It's called a real story. That's a great film. That's a great series. But that's why we write.